Hi, grade 11. Today we're looking at quadratic functions. Sometimes we call them parabolas. They have three formats in equation form. y equals x squared plus bx plus c, where c is the y-intercept, and y equals a into x minus p all squared plus q, where p and q will give us the turning point and the axis of symmetry, and y is equals to a into x minus m and x minus n, where m and n will give us the x-intercepts. The shape of a parabola is like this or like this. It's shaped like this if the a value, meaning these a values, either if it is greater than 0, meaning if it's a positive number, number bigger than 0, like 5, a is 2 over 7, or 0, 0,23, the shape will be like this. However, if a is a negative number, a number smaller than 0, like a is minus 5, a is minus 7 over 10, or a equals negative 0,52, etc., the shape will look like this. Parabolas are not things that are new to you. You are familiar with them. For instance, you might have experienced them in some bridges. A bridge will have cables like this, suspension cables. That's a form of a, a shape of a, of a parabola. Or maybe when you go to McDonald's, you see that M there. That M, that part of M, is like a parabola. Now, let's look at how some of the questions are asked so that you get familiar with them. They might say, sketch the founded this, this, this parabola. 3x squared minus 12x minus 15. Note that we said if a is greater than 0, the shape will be like this. So we know already that the shape will be like this. Another thing that I need to highlight is the axis of symmetry, which is this dotted line over here. It makes this side the same as this side. When you draw your graph, make sure that the side on the left is equal to the side on the right, not necessarily on the y-axis. If the graph may be drawn there, but on the axis here, it must reflect that the side on this side is equal to side on this side. Now, let's see. How do we sketch the graph? There are things that are important. For instance, in this case, we must find the y-intercept, x-intercept, x of symmetry, and the turning point. To find the y-intercept, you make x zero. Plug x as zero there, we'll get y is equal to three times a zero, which is squared minus 12 times a zero minus 15. You can see now that y will be equal to this gives us zero and then minus 15. So our y-intercept will be minus 15. So y will be minus 15. So it'd be cutting there, say it's minus 15 over there. Now to find the x-intercept, we make y zero. To make y zero, that is why we put zero for it. So now I've got zero is equal to 3x squared minus 12x minus 15, and we solve for x because we want to find the x-intercept. I can divide by 3. 0 is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5. So 0 is equal to, I can factorize this, is x minus 5 and x plus 1. When I solve for x here, I get x equals 5 or x is equal to minus 1. So the graph cuts at x is 5, x is 5 will be on the side, I suppose, and then x is minus 1 will be on the left of the 0. The say we put it over here is minus 1 on this side, this way it will be cutting. Next one, we want to find the axis of symmetry. To find the axis of symmetry, we use the formula x equals minus b over 2a. You must remember this formula, x is minus b over 2a. So x will be equal to minus, and r is our b value there, it's minus 12. So b on top is minus 12 over 2 times a, and a value there is 3, I plug in 3 there. So the answer that I get is minus minus 12, which is positive 12 divided by 2 times 3 divided by 6, you get 2. So the axis of symmetry is 2, meaning that the dotted line will be at 2. So the dotted line is a line that will be in the middle there, okay, between these two will be at 2. So if I draw the dotted line, the axis of symmetry goes down, down, down. So we say it's a 2. Let's think about another way of getting this 2. Remember that this is between them. It's the midpoint between these. To find the midpoints, another method of getting the midpoint, you just add those numbers, the minus 1, and you add the 5, but you divide by 2 all the time. Adding this thing, you get an answer of a positive 2. The same as that one. So we now know that it's cutting there 2. Now, the turning point. To find the turning point, you just plug in that number you got from the x of symmetry, which is 2, and then you find to, must find the y value. Now, how to find the y value? We are given the equation of the y there. So to find y, I substitute this 2 in the equation. So y is equal to at 3 
then times a 2 which is squared minus 12 times a 2 minus 15. So when I simplify this, what do I get? Don't want to make mistakes. Let's check. It's 3 open brackets 2 close squared then minus 12, minus 12, open 2, close, minus 15, I get an answer of minus 27, minus 27. So at the turning point, x is 2, y is minus 27, minus 27 over there. That's the turning point. The point is on this, where the graph is turning. Say 27 is over somewhere there. I'm just making an example there. So the point there will be 2 is to minus 27. Now if we were to draw the graph, it's a parabola. Remember to be shaped like this. So we do that. The try there we go goes down then to 10 there and then you go up 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 then you are done let's look at another example another example says sketch the graph of 4 into x plus 1 or squared plus 2 first axis of symmetry right in this case when you're given is a point there you don't need to work too much the x of symmetry you just take that and you solve for x solve for x there you get x plus 1 equals 0. So x is minus 1. So your x of symmetry is the line x equals minus 1. So at minus 1, I can put an x of symmetry. Let's say I put a minus 1 over here, and then I draw my x is my line of symmetry. My line of symmetry goes all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. So my turning point would be on this line here. So how do you find the turning point? We said you just put that x value, which is a minus 1. So then what is left is to find the y value that I'll put in here. In x is minus y, 1, what is the y value? I'll put minus 1 there to find that what's the y value. So y is equal to a 4, x is minus 1, plus 1, which is squared. Then plus 2. So y is equal to minus 4 times a 0, which is squared, plus 2. What do we get? We get an answer. Minus 4 times 0, it's 0, then plus 2. What's the answer? It is 2. So it's to 2. Now check. This 2 is exactly the same as that 2 there, right? And this is the 1 that we got there. Just remember that to make things easier for you. So the turning point is minus 1 to 2. Minus 1, I go to 2. Let's say 2 is over there. So the point is minus 1 to 2. Note, we said that the graph is positive here, meaning that the shape is like this. Now, if the turning point is there and the shape is like that, it means that the graph is going to do this. You see, the graph is going to do this, turning there, and then going to cut over there. All right? Now, you see that we don't need to find out what is the x-intercept. We're not going to find what is x-intercept here because it's not cutting. The only thing that we need is the y-intercept over there. How do you find the y-intercept? Y-intercept, we make x zero. I'll plug in zero there for x and then get an answer. So I'll say y is equal to a 4 times 0 plus 1, which is squared, plus a 2. So therefore y is equal to 4 times 0 plus 1 is 1 which is squared plus a 2. So y is equal to simplify this 4 times 1 squared is 4. 4 plus 2 that is 6. So the y-intercept is 6 so it's cutting there at 6. Done. Let's look at another example. What if they give us a sketch this graph here? In this case here they put a bracket we know y-intercept you make x0. To make x0 I'll put 0 there, 0 there. So I say y is equal to minus 2 into 0 plus 1 and 0 plus 5. We simplify this. So this is minus 2 times 1 and the 5 there. What do you get? y is equal to a minus 10. So the y-intercept is minus 10. So minus 10 will be, let's say, minus 10 is over there. There is minus 10. So the graph will be cutting there at minus 10. Next, the x-intercept. How to find x-intercept? y is 0. Plug in 0 there. So what do we get? We get 0 is equal to minus 2 times x plus 1 times x plus 5. Solve for x. So this is factorized for us. So we therefore each factor is equal to 0. But that is wrong. 0 cannot be minus 2. Wrong. But this one can be 0. So x plus 1 is 0. Or x plus 5 is 0. So if I solve here, I get x is minus 1. If I solve there, I get x is a minus 5. So our x-intercept are minus 1 and a minus 5. So let's say minus 1 is there. So minus 5 will be somewhere there. Okay, so it's cutting there and cutting there. 
Now note, this is negative. The graph will be shown pointing down like this. So we'll be drawing our graph going up, going down like this. So we can work out the x and axis of symmetry. All right? We can multiply it out and use the formula. But in this case, we said we know the axis of symmetry be a line that goes through the middle of these two. So it will go in between these two. That's the axis of symmetry of ours. But what is the number between there? We'll have to just add those two numbers and divide by two, as we did previously. So the x of symmetry will be line x is equal to a minus 5. You add the minus 1 and you divide by 2. So what do you get? You get on top is minus 6 over 2. So what is your answer? x is equal to minus 3 because minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3. So it's minus 3 there. So it means that this line here is where we get the turning point. So how do you find turning point? We said for turning point, you just take this number, you put it in there from the axis of symmetry. How do you find y? We take this to substitute back in the equation. So we say y is equal to substitute there. So it's minus 2 times minus 3 plus 1 and minus 3 plus a 5. Simplify this. y is equal to minus 2. What is that? It's minus 2. What is that? It's 2. So y is equal to minus 2 times minus 2 times 2. That is positive 8. So that's an 8 over there. So the point which is turning, the turning point is minus 3 is to 8. Minus 3 to 8 could be a point maybe say somewhere there. It's a minus 3 is to 8 and the graph is facing down if I were to draw the graph so the graph will do something like this and like this to cut over there so we've got our graph there let's check in another example which is the last one sketch the graph of ax squared plus bx plus c if a is less than 0 b is less than 0 c is greater than 0 in this case they are putting variables right there are many ways of doing this but the easier one is just let's like substitute the value so that it's easier for you let's say you take a number which is smaller than 0 let's say you put a is negative 2 right so we'll have now y is equal to negative 2 x squared b is less than zero as well so let's take we take a negative four minus four x and then c is greater than zero a number bigger than zero let's say big number let's say we take 16 right so we can draw this graph here because we know that when you draw this graph what do we need we need the y-intercept right so the y-intercept so what is the y-intercept our y-intercept we make x zero so when we make x zero we put zero there you put zero there so it means the y is equal to 16. How about now the x-intercept? We want to find the x-intercept. How do you find the x-intercept? We make uh, we make uh, y zero in this case. So now y will be zero. Plug in y as zero. So that's zero. Zero is equal to minus two x squared minus four x plus sixteen. And therefore, I can divide by minus two. I get zero is equal to x squared plus two x minus eight. I can factorize this. Zero is equal to x plus four and x minus. 2 and therefore here I'll get x equals minus 4 or here I'll get x is equal to 2. So those are the x-intercept. The y-intercept is 16. I intercept is 16. Let's put 16 over there and then I say the x-intercept is minus 4. Let's say this is minus 4 over there and the x-intercept another one is a 2. It's a positive 2. So we know that a is negative. The graph will be facing down to be doing this. So, yeah. so now what do we need? We need the axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry, we found it by finding, adding these two numbers and dividing by 2. So x is equal to minus 4 plus 2 divided by 2. What's the answer? Mind that is 2 over 2. Minus 2 over 2, then we get minus 1. So our axis of symmetry is at minus 1. A line going down, 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 like this. So therefore, our graph will have a turning point there. So turning point, turning point will be take that x value minus 1. To find the y value, substitute there. So y is equal to minus 2 times minus 1. Which is get minus 4 times minus 1, then plus 16. So y is equal to this and this will give you minus 2 plus 4 plus 16. So your answer will be equal to 18. So the y-intercept was 16 and then the point is there to 1 minus 1 is to 18 minus 1 to 18. And then it turns like that. So the graph will be doing this and that so if you can try some of the examples so from your textbook chapter 5 functions 5.1 quadratic functions exercise 5.6